Hello students, I am Dr. Seema Singh and you are watching my channel Bonding with Chemistry. I hope in these testing times of COVID-19 pandemic, you all are trying to hold up well. Due to the existing coronavirus pandemic, Central Board of Secondary Education, which is CBSE, has reduced its syllabus for classes 9 to 12 up to 30%. The focus has been to retain the core concepts. These changes have been made with the help of suggestions from NCERT. Dear students, these changes were announced by CBSE on 7th July 2020 and soon after the internet got flooded with YouTube videos highlighting the changes. I went through a couple of them and found that few of them have incorrectly explained these changes and thereafter made corrections in the comment section. Even CBSC issued a circular for communication of such misleading information by certain section of the media. Kindly ensure you have the correct information. Dear students, today I will be familiarizing you with the revised slavers for class 10 chemistry for academic session 2020-21. I will also provide you links where you can cross check the authenticity of information that I provide. You can use those links for getting exhaustive information for other subjects too. These are the links to the official website of CBSC and NCERT. Let me also show you the press release or notifications issued by CBSC. This was the circular that was released by CBSC on 7th July 2020. And this was the press note that was released by CBSC on 8th July 2020 where it mentioned that the board's notification issued on 7th July regarding reduction, rationalization of syllabus from classes 9 to 12 has been interpreted differently by certain section of media. Now before I continue further, remember these changes are only for the academic session 2020-21 due to the prevalent coronavirus pandemic. It means the syllabus has been cut down for only those students who are currently studying in class 10 and will be taking their board examinations next year, that is in the year 2021. Students, I will begin with the original syllabus for class 10 chemistry. These are the five chapters as per NCRT and you were supposed to know all topics in your NCRT textbooks from these chapters before COVID-19 struck. These five chapters collectively make up Unit 1, which is Chemical Substances, Nature and Behavior. This unit, comprising 5 chapters, holds a weightage of total 25 marks as per CBSC in your annual board examinations. Students note that as per previous year board question papers, these 25 marks are not strictly adhered to or followed. One or two marks less or more, generally less, has been the norm. So I am putting up an approximate sign here. Now due to COVID, the revised syllabus is as follows. You still have all five chapters retained in your syllabus which make up unit 1, which now holds a weightage of 26 marks instead of previous 25, which means one mark has been added to this unit. Let us look at the changes that have been made in various chapters. In chapter 1 and 2, that is chemical reactions and equations and acid bases and salts respectively, no change has been made. All topics have been retained, none of the topic has been deleted. This is possibly because board members must have considered the fact that most of the schools might have covered these two chapters by now. So there was no point deleting portions from these chapters which students already know. In some schools, chapter 5 which is periodic classification of elements is taught as the first chapter. This is done because teachers believe that this chapter familiarizes students with various elements and concepts in chemistry, which helps them in understanding the other chapters easily. Therefore, from this chapter too, no topic has been deleted. There is absolutely no change. The only two chemistry chapters where changes have been made are chapter 3 metals and non-metals and chapter 4 carbon and its compounds. Dear students, 
CBSE in its final board examination as well as your teachers in all the internal examinations will not make any assessment from these deleted portions. Let us now have a look at the topics that have been deleted for this session. Since no change has been made in the first two chapters, all the original topics are included in your syllabus from these chapters. These are the list of those topics. Coming to chapter 3, metals and non-metals. From here, few topics have been deleted. These topics are the basic metallurgical processes and corrosion and its prevention. Going by the page number, you have chapter 3 up to page number 49 of your NCRT textbooks in your syllabus. For better clarity, let me show you this change in your NCRT textbook directly. If you open your NCRT textbook, then the syllabus for chapter Metals and Non-Metals is up to page number 49 of your book. And to be precise, these in-text questions are a part of your syllabus. They are included in your syllabus. The portion that stands deleted starts from section 3.4, Occurrence of Metals, and continues till page number 55. These questions are not included. Now here students, the topic corrosion. If you look here, I am talking about section 3.5 corrosion. This topic has been dealt briefly already in chapter number 1, which is chemical reactions and equations. Let me show you here. We have already studied what is corrosion and the effect of corrosion, but the topic Prevention of corrosion was not included in chapter 1. It is a part of chapter 3. Here you can see in the section 3.5.1 Prevention of Corrosion. Although the methods to prevent corrosion like oiling, greasing, painting must have been taught by your teacher, but as per revised syllabus, it is not included. Let us also quickly look at the exercise questions which have been deleted from this chapter. Question number 2, which is based on corrosion, is a boundary line question. I call it as a boundary line question because as I just said that this corrosion is partially done or dealt with in chapter number 1. I am sure you will be able to easily answer this question. But if we strictly follow the revised syllabus, this question stands deleted. Coming to the next question. Question number 8. In the electrolytic refining of metal M, what would you take as an anode, the cathode and the electrolyte? This is a cancelled or a deleted question. Question number 10. State two ways to prevent the rusting of iron is again a boundary line simple question which if we strictly follow the revised labels of CBSE stands deleted. And the last part of question number 12, the D part. Carbonate and sulphide ores are usually converted into oxides during the process of extraction is not a part of your current syllabus 2020-21. Moving on to chapter number 4 which is carbon and its compounds. Now this chapter has been drastically cut down. These are the topics that have been deleted from this chapter. Going by pages which have been included and deleted, you have this chapter up to page number 67. Let me show it directly in your NCRT textbook. So you need to study carbon and its compound up till activity 4.2 which is on page number 67. The portion that stands deleted begins from the section 4.2.5 Nomenclature of Carbon Compounds. Coming to the exercise questions that have been deleted from this chapter. We see question number 2. Butanone is a 4 carbon compound with the functional group and you have 4 choices. This is no longer a part of your syllabus. Similarly, question number 3, question number 7 to 15. All these questions are no longer a part of your current syllabus, including this group activity. This group activity also stands cancelled for academic session 2020-21. Students, I would like to draw your attention to question number 4 and 5 and would suggest you consider both these questions as part of your syllabus. 
although answering them requires a little extra bit of knowledge from the deleted portion. For example, question number 4. It says, explain the nature of the covalent bond using the bond formation in CH3Cl. Now, the nature of covalent bonding is in your course. But explaining that with the help of an example CH3Cl, this is chloromethane, a haloalkane, slightly requires knowledge of nomenclature, but that portion has been deleted by CBSE. But I'm sure your teachers will take care of it. Similarly, two parts of question number five, namely ethanoic acid and propanone, requires a little bit of extra knowledge of nomenclature. But since electronic dot structure is in your syllabus, I would suggest you take this complete question as a part of your syllabus. Moving on to the last chapter, chapter number five, periodic classification of elements. No changes have been made in this chapter and these are the list of topics that you need to know from here. So we can conclude that changes in syllabus have been made only from chapter number 3 and chapter number 4, majorly from chapter number 4. My dear learners, I just familiarized you with the revised theory syllabus for chemistry. Now let us have a look at the revised practical syllabus. I'll begin with the entire list of experiments that were a part of original complete syllabus and parallelly show you the changes that have been made. The first experiment has two parts, one based on finding the pH, the second one studying the properties of acids and bases namely hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Although the experiment on pH was pretty simple and easy, Yet this portion has been deleted by CBSE for academic session 2020-21. The second part has been retained. Next, we have experiments based on types of reactions and the reactivity series. And both these experiments have been retained for the session 2020-21. The last two experiments based on the properties of acetic acid, also known as ethanoic acid, and comparative cleansing capacity of soap in soft and hard water stands deleted. So the final revised list of experiment is as follows. You have a total of three experiments. First, studying the properties of acids and bases. Second, experiment based on various chemical reactions. And finally, experiment number three based on reactivity series. Dear students, I would conclude this video with my take on this revised syllabus. The reason why CBSC rationalized the syllabus for class 10 is totally understandable. For students who plan not to take science stream in class 11, you should have no issues with not knowing the deleted part of the syllabus. Until of course you are interested. Because if you opt for commerce and art streams, you will not be studying chemistry any further. But for those students who plan to take science stream in higher class, and are gearing up or preparing for various engineering and medical entrance examinations, my advice is that you should study those deleted topics too. CBSE has said that teachers should teach the deleted topics as well, but make no assessment from there. So you can seek help of your subject teachers for the same. I will suggest that you don't postpone your quest to know these topics to higher classes, because as you move to class 11, you will have plenty of study load. A simpler way to imagine and understand the kind of load you are going to deal with is that your science subject of total 100 marks would divide into three full-fledged subjects namely physics, chemistry and biology if in case you opt for medical stream. Each of these subjects would be of 100 marks with chapters spread across two NCRT textbooks. I am not trying to scare you my dear children but familiarizing you with reality. The portions deleted in carbon and compounds are important topics because they lay the foundation of an interesting branch of chemistry known as organic chemistry. So try not skipping those topics that have been deleted from this chapter. As far as my future videos are concerned, I will be covering the entire syllabus including the portions that have been deleted. So do please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for receiving the latest notifications. Finally, if you like this video of mine, kindly spare a moment to give it a thumbs up.
in my next video i'll continue with the chemical properties of metals thanks for watching and until next time take care and stay bonded my dear learners